Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Hope all is well. Today is Thursday, and today we are ripping out an abortion. Stay tuned. You're going to love this one. Time. Timer flash. Seven times. BT system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. Hello? Good morning. I heard a rumor. I heard a rumor. The rumor is that you don't think we're going to be done tonight. No, 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 that's, no, that's, not, that's, uh, rumor. Uh, that's not a rumor, that's a fact. I said I don't know. Fact. I said I don't know. The fact is, I said, will they be done today? Oh. I said I have no idea. Oh, those are only facts. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I'm not saying you wouldn't. I said I don't know how long these things take. All right, so that is called wrap, wrap the, uh, the carpet. Because he's been kind enough to bless us with yeah, drop corn. I'm having kind enough. My wife screamed at me, make sure you get tarp just in case it rains. Oh, yeah, but it's supposed to rain today. That's well, fine. guess what? By the time it rains, we'll be done. Really? Nah, hopefully not. Hopefully, yes. He said he did everything we need to do. We're going to soon find out. Yeah, we're going to do that. Let's see. Carpet, I don't care about. Carpet's going. Well, I need to cover that anyway. All right. The electrician left us that right there. Perfect. And this is where the air handling is going to go. Stop bringing those flexes up. No, I start ripping everything out that's up here. Okay. The, all these runs are going. The only thing we're keeping is those uh, the cans that sit in the ceiling. Look at this abortion. Take the elbows off everything? Or at least um, you know what? You Leave the elbows. Okay. Yeah, let's leave the elbows. Perfect. But everything else is coming out. See, we're going to make this. This return, which is 20 by 30, we'll make it 24 by 30. But look at this work of art here. Look at this. They uh, they made they made the return. They, they shoved it into the air handler. Amazing. Uh, Daniel. We're gonna rip everything out that's up here. Everything including this abortion of a line set. All right, stay tuned. All right, let's take a look what we got outside. See that little hole right there? That little pilot hole? That's gonna be my new line set, penetration. All right, my Bosch IDS 2.0 condenser is going right there. Let me show you what they're working with to start. All right, watch this guys. And to all my subscribers and loyal community who saw this, the preview, this is the Guardian. You ready? Wait for it. Line set. One, we won't talk about this for right now. All right? We won't talk about that for right now. Let me show you where it goes. We're not gonna talk about that. Let's talk about this line set. Let me put down my Milwaukee M18 hammer drill. Watch this. You ready? Wait for it. See how I feed you people? Because I effing love you. Goes up there, across the roof, right? Across the roof, across. I guess the straps, just, yeah, they did. Because you see the band iron, it broke off. Nice, nice bending work there. That's beautiful. Comes around, boom, bow. And then it goes to the air handle in the attic. <laughs> which then has a T, which is capped off. <laughs> you got to see the preview video of this. All Epic. Right. I got Daniel's son. AKA Mini Me. Yes, that's right. Mini Me. He's him and Mike, the other Mike, are ripping out all my duck work that's in the attic. It's 8.02 a.m. I just made a penetration for, well, a pilot pit hole for my penetration for my line set, control wiring, and drain, which is right there. I got the Milwaukee M18 fuel. Driver, drill, sorry, hammer drill. We're gonna make this opening bigger. I got the spider, I call it the opener. We're gonna open this up, open her up. One little, one little tip is that I'm drilling through this PVC siding, right? I'm gonna put it in reverse. Right? 
put it in reverse, I'm less likely to shatter the PVC. I'm going to try to cut through it, just like that, to get through that layer. If I do it in reverse, it's less likely to shatter. See that? Just like that. And once I get through it, I'm going to put it to the right side and go right through it. Just like that. All right. I got my line set covers or line hide. This is a 100 millimeter in white. I thought two, well, I actually, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was gonna say I thought two sections were gonna be enough, but that's all I had left in the shop. I got the wall inlet up there, a coupling, and we'll come back at a later date and extend this down a little bit more, but we're good for now. That's gonna hide my control wiring. It's gonna power my condenser heat pump. It's gonna go on this high rise pad. This is gonna be the first first IDS 2.0 we're gonna put in. It's gonna utilize heat pump feature, control wire, 7 8 3 8 both insulated, and condensate drain. Coming out of that hole, straight down. All right, stay tuned. All right, for the majority of my connections, I'm using Zoom Lock braze free tool with the RLS fittings. You can get those at supplyhouse.com. Real people, real service. Let me take out the three quarter, put in the seven eighths, easy peasy, just like that. Come on, don't mess with me, boy. Get the F in there. There we go. Love it. All right, let's take the first length. The first length of seven eighths, I'm gonna put a 90 on it, and then I'm gonna shove it in the hole. I gotta admit, I have never been more confident and relaxed since like Hurricane Sandy when I had, you know, five, seven trucks on the road on a daily basis. And I was going around just selling systems and helping with installs and being a gopher. But I got Mike and Danielson up in that attic, ripping out all the duct work. And I'm doing the, the line set on the outside, the exterior, and I'm gonna set the condenser, but I really feel real blessed right now because I could finally now focus on growing. You know, like I said, I want to go to Florida and I'm going to do that now. You know, I just, I feel so confident and so blessed. Confident in my team and blessed that God has given me so much. All right. I'm just going to extend the seven eighths with the zoom lock. I'm going to bring it down to right around there. I'm going to pull out these bushes and set my condenser while my grade A team, class A team, is upstairs in that attic, hustling. The life of the life. All right, 832, full disclosure. I got my three quarter, I got a full length of 10 inch, sorry, 10 foot by three quarter going into the attic. I got 10, looks like I got eight, and I elbowed. I was gonna dump it here. I was like, you know what? Looks like I got a drywall there for the gutters. Let me just extend it. Use another length of three quarter by 10 foot PVC. Throw an elbow, throw a couple conduit clamps, plastic PVC conduit clamps right there, and throw it right into the gutter. I went a little crazy with the step bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh God, I'm just gonna leave it that way. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cover that up. It'll be like a vent, right? It'll be like a vent. <laughs> Oh God. All right, let me cut out these bushes. Let me throw some gloves on, cut out that rose thorny thingy and cut this out and set my pad. All right, let's get it All done. Right, Daniel's putting together the knockdown plenum supply and the return. I'm finishing up my line set. I got the 100 millimeter, as I said, the seven eighths, three eighths, both insulated three-quarter condensate thermostat wire and like I said we're gonna wire this up to be a heat pump and let me do the connections right now I'm gonna throw a zoom lock 90 right there boom and bend in the three-eighths let me get my knee pad and set up right here and get this done with the stay bright eight all right just silver soldered my seven-eighths suction side I put some wet rag all right, by Refrigeration Technologies. I love this stuff, by the way. Big shout out to Refrigeration Technologies. 
Also, a great shout out to Harris with their Stay Bright 8. This stuff is amazing. Safe for R410A, recommended on all fittings by Harris. Gotta love it. You don't gotta braze, you don't gotta purge with nitrogen. Just nice, perfect joint right there. Perfect, perfect joint. And I know there's a lot of guys out there. Not a lot, but there's some out there that's like, Mikey Pipes, what are you doing? You gotta braze, what's that stuff? That stuff's not gonna work. What are you, a hack? Guys, get with the program. If you ain't using Stay, Stay Bright 8, man, you're really missing out. And you're also risking the potential of having the carbon build up, you know, clog up your system like your TXV. And then when you got a Bosch like this, with this crazy control board, not only do you, ha do you not want any of that contamination, potential contamination, but you also want one of these. Whole house surge protector. See that? That's what you need when you put in one of these Bosch systems. How you making out over there, Mini-Me? Good. You good? Excellent. Excellent. All right. Let me do the three-eighths and uh, do my control wiring. And we'll be basically done out here until it's time to vacuum down. By the way, it's 9 o'clock. <laughs> Let's see this mess. Hold on. So, and this, we're going to uh, we're gonna make this bigger. Okay. So we ha you picked it up yesterday. This is 20 by 30. We're going to take out this 2 by 6 right here. Okay. And we'll move it over 4 inches to accommodate the 24 by 30. But, oh, my God. And you know what? His friend wanted to install a 407C condenser. <laughs> Good thing he called me because I told him, rip it all out. And then over here, we're going to put in a return for the master bedroom, wherever that is. A little 12 by 12 in this mess. Okay. Yeah. So just extend all of these. There's just 14 of uh 14 of them? 14. And just bring them all over there. Let me uh let me finish up outside and then I'll help. Damn. That's a beast of a return. How do they get this up here? <laughs> wow. How do they get this thing up here? Jesus Christ. Look at that. Oops. That's crazy, by the way. Absolutely crazy. Wow. She's wearing a fur coat. <laughs> All right. Let me work on the... I gotta wet, use a real wet rag, a real schmott there to wipe off the rest of the flux. Here's my 3 8 We're going to uh, use the Harris Technologies. Sorry, the Harris Stay Bright 8, my torch. I'm using the mini cutter to hold back the, uh, the slack of the armor flex. So it doesn't burn, burn and melt, you know? Oh, you know what? Almost forgot, guys. Almost forgot. Sorry, almost forgot, you know, I'm sorry. Not that it's needed, but we are close to that. Ooh, it's hot already. We are close to that service valve. Easy peasy. See that? Easy peasy. Nice. Very, very nice. Nicey, nice. Oh, a little bit of big snot there, but it's all good. All right, let me get a, a real wet rag and wipe this up. All right, should have been 10, but there's nine. And there's four sevens, all right? And here's my return. I got an 18 coming off of it and a 10. Uh, is it 10? Yeah, 10. The 10 is for the master bedroom return, which we're gonna create. Where is the other box? Where is the other box? And I'm very disappointed in the other mic. And he should know better. Here is my material list. See that? Six. Ten. Quantity ten. We only got nine because he didn't count. All this is hidden here somewhere. And twelve by twelve by ten. I don't see that. Hopefully... Hopefully, Mike took that, or it's upstairs already. It better be. Four sevens and ten sixes. 
All right, so we need to steal a six. Um, Mike, yeah. two things. Number one, we you picked up ten on the receipt, and there's nine. Six inch takeoffs. And where is the 12 by 12 by 10 uh, return box? Uh, it's on the receipt. Yeah, I think he did give that to me. I think I saw that in the in the truck. The 10, it's, it's very pre made. Yeah, it's a 12 by 12. 12 by 12 by 10 round. Yeah, I saw that. You on saw that? Shelf. On the shelf. Let's see. week oh Whew. okay got me a little nervous but you didn't count you didn't count the the 10 because he gave you nine I didn't check it against the receipt no I wasn't well you that's, you're supposed to be checking against the receipt you picked the material check against your list which was a little confusing I don't know, but you have 10, print, 10 on the list, on the invoice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they gave you nine. Yeah. All right, so that one, and I really hate doing that. It's disgusting. But that one, bend all these things the other way. And you'll make that one very accessible because we're going to re replace that in the future. Okay. All right, and... If it is what it is. And then we'll have to put some ma uh, mastic tape around the little fins to make it nice and airtight. Because I don't think I have one hidden in my truck. I think we have in the shop, but disappointing. There's a snow. See? No, I don't have. Oh, fuck me. All right. Finishing up the line voltage. This is L1, L2, and of course my ground, L1. Going to here, the terminal block, L2. Also going to the termi terminal block. And all I have to do now is my control wiring. And since this is the first time I'm ever wired up an IDS 2.0 heat pump and not AC, I'm gonna defer to the manual. All right, let's take the cover and put that back on there. Let's put that in the off position. Beautiful. Okay, let's go to the manual. All right, let's refer to the manual. This is the manual for the heat pump condensing unit. Page 16, well, technically page 15, starts my electrical low voltage wiring. And there's the connections right there. Use a minimum of 18 conductor size wire. And we have multiple diagrams here. This is three heat, two cool thermostat, four heat, two cool thermostat, three heat, one cool, two heat, two cool. He's got a Nest thermostat. This is what we're gonna use. So we have to the outdoor unit, my brown is becoming common. I'm gonna make that blue. Yellow is Y, and which is yellow, duh. And blue, B, is gonna go to OB, two heat, two cool thermostat. W, I'm gonna use that too, even though it's not gonna be used now, but I'm gonna hook up W anyway, which is white, just in case he decides to change the thermostat and he'll have, you know, four stage or three stage instead of just two stage. All right. All right, so using the diagram, it has all my connections. I'm using the white Wago. 221s, two conductor wire connectors. So I got my brown, which is common, yellow, uh, OB. I made red and W for future use, if needed, is white. There's all my connections. Hopefully the weather holds up. And I'm basically done out here now until it's time to pump down nitrogen test. It's nice and insulated and pretty. Okay. Oh, I am exhausted, by the way. 
had a barbecue with some friends last night. Didn't get to bed till 1.30 in the morning. And I shouldn't have finished that bottle. <laughs> I am gonna cut this out now. Get rid of that. And uh, then help in the inside. Saws will cut this, cut this bastard out. I would like to know who thought it was a good idea to run the line set this way. I would really like to know who thought that was a good idea because it wasn't stupidity. That's what that is. Stupidity. They used a 90 there? Yes, they did. Oh, I bet you they used silver bright. Let me stay bright. <laughs> bet you they didn't. Yeah, and my cooler. Uh, I'm exhausted. Here's my five ton blower. Took the evaporator coil out so we could manhandle it up there. So what, that, that, that girl, she was a gymnast, right? And she quit because what? She wasn't... Emotionally in it. Oh, she I thought she had sand in her vagina. Yeah. Maybe that too. Yeah, that's what Cartman from South Park, right? I think she had sand in her vagina. <laughs> oh, at least it's got a nice breeze. At least it ain't, ain't raining. They worked their whole lives to get to the Olympics. Mm-hmm. She's a gymnast, really. What, what else is she going to do? I don't know. Train other gymnasts for the Olympics? Yeah, maybe. All right. We're going to manhandle this thing now. You drink? Yeah. You good? You hydrated? I know. All right. So far, so good. Yeah, I know. Don't remind me. John still doesn't know how to supply return plenums the right size. It's all good. We'll put a piece of sheet metal there. Tape that up with the mastic tape. There's Daniel screwing in the supply plenum. There's Mike. He's exhausted. We're all exhausted. I got to run new thermostat wire. I got two wire and three wire going into the hole. And I'm going to run new five. So there's that. And it goes to here. And now we pull. Get in there. Just like that. Nicey nice. And if I mess up, I got a backup. I don't want to use backup. I'll get this the first time. show you what I did here. The five wire, the white wire that I ran from the thermostat to the air handler. I have it on RC, Y1, W1, C. Sorry, I'm wrong here G. about the wiring. I don't extra need brown W wire that was there. I'm using the red Direction. don't need to w make it O. I'm using the black to make Y2 and the white is W2. It's me, Mikey Pipes. And it is it's about that time. 1.14 p.m., not a.m. Let me show you what we're working with. There's the Bosch. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. We have our line sets, 7 8 and 3 8 being vacuumed down right now. There's supply plenum, return plenum. Now, I've never installed 
a ducted heat pump system before but i thought it was a good idea if i followed the same practice like we do with like mini split systems and the both lines of course the seven eighths is going to be insulated but i figured i'll insulate the three eighths as well um i don't know if that's if that was necessary or not so if you guys install these kind of systems these heat pumps again i we don't have heat pump you know we don't don't have heat pumps here in new york not in long island at least so let me know your thoughts and feedback if that's necessary but nonetheless i got the bi-directional filter dryer there and i got you know everything insulated i really tried to really do the right thing and hopefully that's the right thing i got the condensate cop wired up and let's let me go to the thermostat and see why she's not on yet Ugh, this is annoying Power for, for from your thermostat maybe off. Really? No, it's not. What does that say? RC. No power to RC wire detected. Learn more. Stupid ass condensate cop by Rector Seal. You suck. Something's wrong with it, so I'm gonna go get a different one out of the truck. Still gotta get rid of this thing. And we still gotta do a lot of cleaning up. As you can tell, it's like a mess. It's a mess here. It's a mess. So when I go down, I don't go down empty handed. Always take something with you. Always take something with you. All right, so I installed the condensate cop by Diversitech, and I'm using it to break. Y, which is the cooling circuit. So this yellow wire goes to my air handler. No, this is wrong. I need to break these two right there. Wrong one. Oops. Oops. I'm only human. So here is my this left wire. That's air handler. This is thermostat. And this is condenser. So now condensate cop will break cooling to condenser. And since there's only one Y wire going outside, I'm good to go. All right, we'll just leave that there because she plugs the hole. All right, I got my level. She's dead level. Awesome. Easy peasy. As soon as Mike gets back from Johnstone, I miscalculated. I have a couple, uh, had one extra run and I kind of ran out of flex and I want to clean this up a little bit. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. But we should be done within the hour, hopefully. Just got to run, run, finish the condensate, put a trap in there. And I think we're good. Almost, almost there. Almost there. I'm gonna take out some more garbage, and uh, we should be good to go. Where's your knee pads? Upstairs. Oh, you're gonna, your, knee, your knees are gonna thank you later. I'm making the back of my leg hurt. The knee pads? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Let's look at what we got here. Let's hold 136 microns. So it basically says done. <laughs> it says it's done. It's done. All right, we're gonna isolate the system. So let me close that valve there. That valve there. She jumped up for a second, then she jumped right back down. That's a that's a super tight, super tight set right there. Hold on, are we doing a decay test? Yeah, decay test. Five seconds into it. Let's look at these numbers. Look at them numbers. Yeah. Keep it a real, uncut, unedited, raw. The decay has passed. What would we you like to have do? a party? Yeah. Party. Party. Yeah. Love this Bosch. Such a sexy Bosch, by the way. And this guy's wife is hot. But when she gets home today, she's not going to be hot anymore. <laughs> Look at Mini-Me, a.k.a. daniel son, a.k.a. Daniel. Dan. Dan the man. Ooh, Dan the man. Oh, look at that. He's, he's got this under control. Under control. That's it. Cuts a hole with that. Nice. Easy way of doing it. You know what, you know what I normally do? I take a step bit and I drill a hole like right there, and that's what works for me. Just saying. Yeah. 
but that works too. They got the Milwaukee MA Team Power Shears. Team Red. Mikey Pipes and the Pipe Doctor. We're Team Red, baby. We are Team Red. All right. Let me go over here. And let's get rocking and rolling. Dump the charge into the system. And let me give you a little bit of a, you know, keep it real. Facts. Daniel, we're going to tell the people some facts right now. The community, right? You've been here for th three days, four days. It's the fourth day, all right? We used the vacuum pump how many times? Four times? Have we changed the oil yet? No. And guess what? It still works. So what is the deal with that? What do you think? Why must you change? Why do they say change the oil after every time? Why? I know that because moisture gets in the oils and it's it. It's bad for the pump itself having moisture. In you think so? It's hmm. bad for a car engine. It works oh, the same yeah, way. I guess you guys right. think. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Why, besides moisture in the in the oil? And by the way, there's gonna be moisture in there right now because the caps are open. Right, but why do they say change the oil after every single time? We've used this pump four times in the past four days with the same oil. And I'm not changing it because I'm cheap. I'm just not changing it because I don't see the reason why. Now, listen, if I was working and all, yeah, and the last four systems were all brand new installs. I guess there's no, all the line sets are brand new. I guess if you're vacuuming down an existing like old line set, then maybe, what do you think? Maybe then it'll affect it because it's like a brand new copper, right? I feel like once a week is good enough. I agree. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below about how often should you really be doing that and what purpose if you have great pulling vacuum? Let me know. All right, let's keep going. All right. Now, let's open up this oh, hold on a second hey daniel yes. question for you yes. someone was commenting about which service valve to open up first and technically you should be opening up the vapor side right yeah. that's what or i no. thought liquid side first. why the liquid side because it's going that way in the filter dryer well i have a bi-directional filter dryer uh, that's what they said yeah all right so let's do liquid side first i, I don't think it matters either but let's do a liquid side it's all good Right, and again, thoughts, feedback. You know, we all need to learn from one another. That's tightening. Damn it, I almost did a Godzilla. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Uh-oh. On some of the newer central air systems, yeah. they're making it so the service wrench doesn't fit in the ports. You have to have a longer... Really? high pressure so i'm assuming now we're no longer anywhere remotely close to a vacuum so let's take that out i love these bosch systems by the way they're so beautiful and sexy i didn't have my wheaties this morning Actually, i didn't have breakfast this morning damn i just stopped at the deli though and got egg and cheese that superhero place. Hold it in. It was ready when I got there. It was nice. You like to have breakfast? What do you normally have? Oh. You know what I love to have? Mozzarella Capri salad. Yeah. Nice fresh mozzarella. Sliced tomato. You put some basil, fresh basil on it. Some Italian olive oil. Salt and pepper. You know, from the from the from the mill. You know, the grinder thingy. A nice big glass of aquapana ice water. That's, that's what I like. We're gonna have to add, right? We are gonna have to add, yes, because the system comes pre charged with up to 15 feet of line set, and we have significantly more than that. We have, I know exactly how much we have. We have, let me make sure I'll tighten that up. We have 10 and almost 9, so that's. 19 and then we have 10 another 10 which is 29 another 10 which is 39 and 3 and 4 so 4 plus 39 is 43 yes you're right 
You passed. Congratulations. So we have 43 feet of line set total. So we need to add. Does it give you a number of how much to add per foot of line set? Yes, it does, actually. I have not, because I just go based on subcooling, because we do have a TXV. But in the manual, let's go to that page. Let's review. St. Mike is here to school you, so you can learn, and we all can grow together, like a big, giant, happy family. Let's go to charging. Weigh in. Let's go to page 21. But there's, certain, there's something special we do with the Boshes, I'm going to tell you in a minute. All right, here we have the five-ton model. Factory charge is 11 pounds, five ounces, All right? Use weigh-in method, the initial installation, or any time a system charge is being replaced. Weigh-in method can also be used when power is not available to the equipment site or operating conditions are not in range to verify the subcooling method. So you can use this when you don't have ideal conditions. We can, we, I mean, there's, there's things here like the total new installations, calculating additional charge for a line set greater than 15 feet. Okay, the total length was 43 feet, right? So that becomes value A. You have a pen? I don't. Okay, 43. Standard line set, which is B, is 15. So A minus B. We have 43 minus 15. Four, what is it? 28. All right. Refrigerant multiplier, 0.6 ounces per foot, right? Hold on. So refrigerant adder, C plus D, C times D. So C was 28, right? Yeah. Times 0.6. 16.8. All right. So E, 16.8. So I guess you got to add 16.8 ounces. Damn, no way, really? That's one pound, does it make sense? 28 times 0 0.6. 0 0.6 ounces a foot. So yeah, it makes sense. So you need to add a pound. It says 16, right? So you have 0 0.6 times 28. 28 yeah. And that's what, 16? Yeah. You need to add exactly one pound, according to this chart, based on the 43 feet that we calculated. And it's roughly, but I will put a pound in and then we could do the subcooling method. Get schooled by Mikey Pike. Daniel, are you Polish? Daniel, <laughs> are you Polish? No. Then why? Why not just use a duck tie? Because I don't know where they are. Oh, so ask. Well, where are they? Look, let me show you. The duck ties are. Normally right here. Right there they're normally. But there are, maybe, ask Mike if he has. Because if that, because you're going to use all those zip ties, hey, it's, God forbid that thing splits open when you're trying to work on that and you split your wrist open, you won't be happy. Your mommy won't be happy either. And we like your mommy because she raised a great kid. Right? Yeah. And we like your daddy too. And he raised a great kid with your mommy. And we don't, you don't want to, you know, cut yourself up. Get get a, a what you call it, duck tie. Much better. All right, let's just clean up the area. Look at that multi-purpose Milwaukee leaf blower. Multi-purpose. Look at that. Get in there a little bit. Nice and clean, like Mr. Clean. See? Look at that. Look at that beautiful Bosch. The beautiful, sexy Bosch, by the way. Isn't she so Look at sexy? This beautiful, beautiful machine. And you know what? Just a compliment. How fitting. It's a Bosch. It's a Bosch. What do you think? Your first Bosch IDS 2.0 install. It's a little before time. Is it like 2.30? 3.15. 3.15. We got here like a 7.50. Yeah. Ripped out all duck work. Everything. It's all in the trucks. And here we have perfect 10 degree subcooling on this five ton Bosch. And if you listen very carefully, she's draining, condensing like a mother effer. All that humid, all that humidity being sucked out of the house. Look at that 
beautiful, beautiful line set cover. It's a beautiful machine, beautiful machine. If you want any stickers, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Make him a landscaper. <laughs> there you go, look at that. Clean up all that sheetrock dust. Get that screw. See that screw? No, the one right there, boom. That screw, right there. We don't give any flat tires. Look at that. You're like, uh, you know, like a landscaper now. I think you'll do better doing HVAC though. The Milwaukee M18 leaf blower. It's great for cleaning out uh, electrical yeah. compartments on condensers. All right, gentlemen, let's go. All right, it is 1522. It's 322, right? It says on the clock. <laughs> and Daniel, is finishing up his fourth day working with us. And we're very happy to have him here. And on your fourth day, you put in, you helped put in a Bosch IDS 2.0, but all by yourself, you vacuumed, you know, you pressure tested the system. We used the Test 057s. You use the Eco Tools True Blue evacuation hoses, vacuumed on the system. I think we got down to 136 microns. You like that, aren't you? What are you gonna say? Comments were saying yesterday that you're pronouncing Aco tools wrong. I am? How I, how, how should I be saying it? Accu tools. Accu tools. Okay. Well, until they become a sponsor of my channel, it's Aco tools. <laughs> but we ripped out all the duct work. We put in new duct work, new line set, control wire, thermostat wire, condensate cop, condensate drains. It was a long day. And uh, the guys commented on what was it? Was it a last Friday or last Tuesday when I posted when I posted the preview video of the the shit show he had there? He was like, "Oh man, Mikey Punch got a big job there tomorrow. I mean, uh, you got a big job there when you go back there. It's gonna take you like two days." I'm like, "Yo, what's wrong with you? Two days?" <laughs> People be like, "What? Two days?" Uh, some companies would take two days, but I got three guys there, myself included, and we bang it out. Look, we're driving back to the shop at 3.20 in the afternoon. And Daniel's eating lunch now. Oh, you could have stopped eating lunch. I'm not a slave driver. That's fine. Okay. All right, guys, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, make sure you thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. There's no course or obligation for you to subscribe and you really will help the channel out by helping us grow. Thank you, be well, God bless, stay safe. So we're sitting in the truck, driving to the shop. You know, we finished the job. And like, I had commented, I was like, hey, you don't have a veto. I was like, yeah, you have a CLC bag. CLC. To all of you guys who have a CLC bag, close your ears right now. CLC, is your, is your ears closed? Put your fingers in your ears so you don't listen to Mikey Pipes right now. I command you, St. Mike commands you to cover your ears if you have a CLC bag. All right, good. CLC bag is like garbage. It's like cannot lose cannabis. No. Can, think of a name for CLC. Cannot lose, I don't know, your conscience. Whatever, CLC bags are complete garbage. That bag will last you probably six months. They fall apart. You know what you need? Oh man, you know what? We should have, we should give Mini Me, AKA Danny Boy, Daniel, no, Daniel Son, sorry, Daniel Son. We should, come on, go in your lane, man. Duty, well, come on, get in your effing lane. We should have a welcome party present for you. A welcome present. And I bet you there's someone in this community who wants to send you a veto bag. What do you think? You think there's someone in this community who wants to send you a veto bag? I do. You wanna know why? Because the community is so giving. You know what? I feed them, I love them, and they love me. They send me gifts. They send me toys. They send me tools. They send Godzilla a nightlight. A nightlight because he's scared of the dark. Yes, and it's in the bathroom. 
If you notice in the bathroom, that's, that's with um, you notice that the tankless, well, the, the small electric water heater is not plugged into the bathroom. Right? Well, there is, well, it's not plugged in. So I have Godzilla's nightlight that comes on the dark automatically, and it changes colors. Someone sent Godzilla a nightlight, and it looks like Godzilla. <laughs> but I'm willing to wager that someone in this community wants to send you a veto bag because you should have a veto bag. You really should. What do you guys think? Who's going to be man enough or woman enough to send him a veto bag? Now, beggars can't be choosers, but if you were had, would you, if you were to have a pick, which one would you which one would you pick? I feel like yours is nice. So I have two. And compact. It's the one that you bring everywhere. Yes. So I just got that. And I happened to buy that when Wayne, he was he's a YouTube subscriber, and earlier this year he rode along with me for like a day. And I think it was like in March or April. Oh, I think I saw Yes, it. Wayne. Wayne from um, from Connecticut. And I really think he's like, he works for Vito, by the way. Because he had a Vito bag that was, he had it before they even released it. Mm, yeah, I'm talking about you, Wayne. <clears throat> but because of Wayne, <clears throat> I have the small Vito because I used to carry the big Vito. And the big Vito I'll carry now if, you know, I'm doing boiler, for example, because I can hold more stuff in there, like a little pipe wrench and stuff like that. So, anyway, I think someone's going to send Daniel's son a Vito. All right. You guys know what to do. Now, have what is up with this guy? He's settling right. <laughs> Come on, drive with a purpose. Don't you know you live in New York? Oh no, he's got his hazards on. Is that what it is? Yeah. Where did he? Oh, they're off now. All right. These people. The people don't know how to drive. Don't you know? Drive like you're from New York. You know, drive with a purpose. You know? A signal. Drive with a purpose. Do you drive with a purpose? I drive safe because my mom's gonna watch this. Oh. Good answer. That's a good answer. Yeah, let me not like people are gonna say, "Oh, you drive like an animal, Mikey Pipes. What's wrong with you?" You know, I go, I, I go through stop signs. You know, they're called rolling stops. It's slightly tap on pedal. That's what STOP stands for, right? So, about a year ago, I went through, I rolled through a couple stop signs, and I actually lost subscribers. <laughs> yeah, people were commenting. Though. I know, like. Like, damn, come on, it's a stop sign. Who, who completes, who stops at complete stop sign? No, I'm sorry. Who completely stops at stop signs? It doesn't happen in New York. You know, it just doesn't happen. What do you, what do you guys think? A lot of people don't even slow down. They don't, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> just keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> but that's also hazardous. Yeah. You know, you, you blow through a stop sign, like, what's this guy doing? You got rear-ended. Rear you weren't paying attention? You got your ship pushed back? Like the guy from the universe yesterday. I hope he was okay, by the way. I think he was, because it looked like it was him reaching in to get yeah. his son. Yeah, that's sad. You know, he's probably on his phone, texting. Yeah. Probably. Anyway. All right, guys. That's that safety hardware paint store right there. See that? <clears throat> that's probably where you can get some good knee pads. We need good knee We need good knee pads. I don't think I can wear them again. Oh, you have, they call you sticks, too. Someone in the comments. We need to wear pants. Sticks. Yeah, it's been hot out. In the winter, you can wear pants. Peter Smart wears shorts if it's over 55 degrees, by the way. Peter Smart, Godzilla Sugar Daddy. <laughs> you think, like, then what do we need as a sugar daddy? Yeah, this guy sent him a whole bunch of, stuff, of toys. Tools, sorry, tools. And he sent him a CLC bag. <laughs> But someone sent him a Klein bag. He had a bunch of tool, uh, tools. The it Klein was good. Bag looks like it's terrible. So I have one back there. Do you like it? I don't use it. I just keep like backup tools there that you know I could use. But Salino and Barnes. Du, 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 du. It's just it's just Barnes it, now it's just Barnes because the other guy died in a plane crash, and I bet you that divorce went was gonna go south real fast because yeah. they were getting divorced. Salino and Barnes. Yeah. And then the guy crashed his private plane. Crashed. Oh, cra yeah. Oh, that's right. Crashed. Quote, unquote. Crashed. All right. Let me stop ranting and raving. I don't want to keep you guys. Hope you guys ate well. Hope this content filled you up. 
Stay tuned for more great and amazing content from the one and only Mikey Pipes and Mini-Me, a.k.a. Daniel Sun. <laughs>